Template Monster presents. Hello. People often ask me how to choose a shopping cart software for my online store. Um, this is actually a very, very vast uh, topic to discuss, uh, but we'll try to simplify it as we always do. Um, as we always say in our in our videos, uh, there are two big groups of uh, of e-commerce software. Uh, we will first take care about the uh, uh, of the industry structure. I'll I'll tell you more about what differences uh, these various products have, and then we'll get to how to choose. A specific option for me um, uh, thing. So the downloadable products which uh, you have to host on your own servers and the SaaS options uh, uh, with which uh, the provider hosts everything for you on their own servers. Uh, these are the two big groups of the e-commerce software. Um, the downloadable options can also be divided into uh, into two subgroups, uh, some of which are beginner friendly and the others are enterprise friendly. So this is actually a very complicated group, uh, but um, uh, I'll, just, I'll just put it this way. So the enterprise options are better for big stores uh, with thousands and thousands of products with custom selling uh, features and stuff. Uh, the obvious leader in this in this section is Magento. Uh, the beginner-friendly group can also be divided into two subgroups: the standalone products and the CMS-based products. Um, the difference is that the standalone ones uh, are actually aren't based on any other CMS product. Uh, this means that you only install the, for example, the PrestaShop engine or the OpenCart engine, and that's all. Uh, and that's that pretty much makes your store already functional. In order to have uh, the CMS-based option installed, you're gonna have to need to install the uh, the CMS first. For example, WooCommerce or JigaShop are based on WordPress. That means that you first have to install WordPress and then you install the shopping cart functionality on top of WordPress. The same goes with Virtumart. The difference is that it's based on Joomla CMS. Um, with SaaS, the, the obvious leader is Shopify. Uh, they host stuff for you and uh, they allow you to, uh, to host the database, to manage everything on, the, uh, on their servers. Uh, this means you do not have to install anything on your own server. You don't have to buy the hosting uh, on your own, and uh, everything actually has been done for you. Uh, okay, so now the the boring part is over. We're getting to to the part where we will uh, try to define which uh, specific option is better for this or that situation. Um, clearly, Shopify is the most beginner friendly option. Uh, so if you have absolutely zero experience in, uh, uh, in web technologies, if you know nothing about uh, hosting, about configurations, about installations and stuff, that's probably uh, a better option for you. The, uh, the downside of, of Shopify or other SaaS options is that you have literally zero control over the functionality of your store. I mean, Something that's that's been already built in uh, into uh, the uh, the Shopify functionality is there to stay. You cannot change that. You cannot uh, add anything on top of that. Uh, the other significant part about Shopify is that uh, is that it's actually more suitable for stores that are relatively small. I mean. Uh, you're not going to be able to sell thousands and thousands of products through your Shopify store. Uh, sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's a, that's a bad thing because, um, 
Well, actually, uh, Shopify is normally used by uh, by very small businesses, like the the individual level. Uh, if that's you, you probably should consider Shopify. Um, now, the next group uh, is the uh, standalone beginner friendly uh, software products. Uh, that group consists primarily of PrestaShop, OpenCart, and a couple of other uh, options. This, uh, the good thing about them is that they are also beginner friendly, uh, maybe a little less beginner friendly than, uh, uh, than the, the SaaS options, uh, but still a complete beginner may pretty much take a good care of his uh, store and uh, people may install everything on their own if they invest a little time into researching how it's done. And um, you have a lot more control over the, uh, the functionality of your store. Uh, you can uh, change some minor uh, feature uh, elements uh, there. And um, the downside is that it still does require a, a configuration, at least some configuration. So uh, as I have said, you have to be um, you have to be ready to invest some time into researching how things are done with these uh, uh, software products. And uh, the other significant downside of this is that they will not work well for big stores with thousands and thousands of products. Uh, if you have a relatively small store or a, a medium-sized business, that's absolutely not a problem for you. However, if you uh, think that your business is going to grow and that you're going to need to scale it uh, to a uh, bigger scale, then you might think that uh, you might consider other options. Uh, the, uh, the CMS based uh, beginner friendly products uh, have pretty much the same advantages and disadvantages as the standalone ones. Uh, however, I would say that uh, that the fact that they're based on the on, on CMS products like WordPress or Joomla is also a advantage and a disadvantage. So if you're used to working with WordPress, for example, then of course naturally uh, it's going to be a lot easier for you to work with um, uh, with the e-commerce uh, software that's based on on what you already know. Uh, however, that's also a sort of a limitation because uh, sometimes that, that's not the most convenient thing to do. And sometimes uh, they have uh, some limitations in terms of features and functionality uh, that are caused by, by that, uh, uh, by the fact that they're based on the other CMS product. For example, with Virtumart, uh the bad thing is that um, Joomla itself, uh, which Virtumart is based on, uh, is kind of vulnerable uh, and uh, it's less secure of a software than the other options. Uh, so uh, the the last group, the enterprise friendly, uh, the enterprise friendly uh, software products, are um, are the most scalable ones. They are used by the big online stores with thousands uh, of products or even hundreds of thousands of products. Uh, uh, it's very scalable and uh, it's very feature rich. Uh, you can integrate virtually any anything that you can think of into the uh, the Magento based store, for example. Uh, the the significant downside of this is that uh, Magento powered stores are very much resource intensive. You're going to have to invest some money into the special kind of hosting, like the dedicated hosting or the VPS hosting, uh, in order to have your store running smoothly. Uh, also, you have to be ready to invest into the developer time, and uh, uh, that actually that's actually not a very that's a cheap thing to do because developer time is expensive, and uh, still, uh, Magento is a pretty complicated software to, to work with. So uh, you have to be ready to, to work with someone who, uh, who knows a thing or two about that. Or you have to, to be able to learn uh, this whole thing on your own. Um, so I hope this answers your question. That's pretty much, that pretty much makes it very clear on, uh, on what to use.
based on your experience, on, on your needs, on the scale of your business, you may choose your own perfect uh, shopping cart software and, uh, and use it successfully. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do you want to get an answer to any question regarding webmastering and getting your business online? Visit templatemonster.com slash startup hyphen hub to learn how you can bring your ideas to life.